Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to my dining room. This is the Tech Gooch with another video review. This week I will be doing a small video overview and review on a couple Christmas presents I bought for my daughters actually. And that is iPad Mini. Specifically the iPad Mini with the new Retina display. Um, and I got it in one of each color. So I figured easier to spot which one is which or whose is whose when the unit itself, that's itself is a different color, so no switching into the cases even, so. But, thought I'd give, show, show you uh, the new iPad minis, uh, as well as kind of show you how it compares to my older third generation iPad, iPad, um, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I don't like really usually do unboxes, obviously, but I thought I'd do a real quick what's in the box. It's the same that they do with all their iPad or iPod products. So you, uh, actually, the iPods don't come with the actual little power brick, but then they give you the little USB cable. Inside here is always open it up here. You get the fine dandy little quick hey, here's how to set it up guide, as well as the uh, standard stuff and your two Apple decals, which you can obviously use on anything you wish, but those come in basically every Apple product. They always make it fine, fine and fancy. Um, but that's exactly how it's going to come. Right there. So, here they are. Actually, one of them I still have wrapped in its original plastic that it actually came in. Um, but that's the, the white model, or I think they call it white and silver. Um, I haven't taken it out yet. I've just been setting it up for my daughters. Uh, but Basically, uh, you have the same form factor that the original Mini was. Uh, if you look at the specs, the thickness is a hair thicker uh, within like a decimal pla place of a millimeter. Uh, but the uh, the screen is obviously what's changed big time. So the, now it has the Retina display. The thing is, is that the Retina display on this, on the iPad Mini, is the exact same resolution as the Retina display on the iPads, um, the iPad third and fourth generation, as well as the new iPad Air, all have the same pixel ratio uh, between the two. So in all reality, the density is higher on the Mini um, with the you know with the Retina. Uh, but the big thing, obviously, is the Mini compared to the iPad Air, uh, the Mini with Retina versus the iPad Air, basically same spec wise, just different size display. Uh, so you get the same power now in the mini as you did as you do in the in the uh, the newer iPad Air, but you gain the form factor holding it with one hand, for instance, uh, putting it in a, a much smaller pocket, fitting it in areas that you wouldn't be able to fit the well the older generation iPad, as well as even the new iPad Air. Um, so colors wise, obviously the new iPad Air and the new iPad Mini come in the same colors, but you know compared to this is my old iPad third generation. Uh, this guy obviously a little bit thicker than the new ones, quite a bit heavier than the iPad Air, and significantly heavier than the iPad Mini. Um, the thing with the iPad Air, and I definitely when I was when I had my third generation, and I was looking at the fourth generation, obviously when it came out, uh, comparing it to the fourth gen iPad, you know. I didn't see a huge need to upgrade from my third gen iPad um, because obviously they both have the Retina and the, the fourth gen which is faster and of course faster is always better. However, the big thing is that the the iPad Air, or, or I should say when the, when the Mini came out, the original Mini, I was like, ooh, kind of neat. I don't know if I'd like that smaller display as much as I like the 10 inch display on my iPad. Uh, but when I actually got it to hold it in my hand and I actually got to feel it and play, you know, kind of play around with it. I really liked it. However, I did not want to go backwards and lose in the Retina display. So I disregarded the original iPad Mini. It's a fantastic product, but I didn't want it just because of the fact that I didn't want to lose ground on my display. Because, and I'm sure certain everybody's a little bit different with how you perceive pixels and everything, and are you know how good is your vision? Well, my vision's good enough that it picks up real quick and easy. Um, so I did not want to give up that. So having the third generation iPad, I was kind of looking to the future. When I do upgrade my iPad, 
you know, I was definitely very interested. If they actually came out with an iPad Mini with Retina, I would be interested. But I definitely was looking at the new iPad uh, when they brought out the new re revision of this one as well. Well, they brought out at the same time, obviously, the iPad Mini with Retina and then the new iPad Air. Um, for my replacement, now I'm cutting in a pickle because the iPad Air is everything the mini is except for with a nice 10 inch display it brings the sides down it does everything but this being out the mini i want to focus on the mini uh having it in my hand now i may actually reduce this guy to a mini as well in the future um you know obviously i don't know if i'll be get rid of this maybe i'll just add it to my collection uh, or sell this and get the mini with retina but the Mini with Retina is fantastic. The The display itself is just absolutely everything a, a Retina, Retina Mini should be, or a Retina iPad should be. Uh, very high pixel density. Um, looks fantastic. I actually just put one app on here, the Clash of Clans game, just to kind of show a difference maybe in speed um, between loading times. Uh, and you definitely notice a uh, speed between the iPad. This is the third generation. This is obviously has the new A7 64-bit processor. Fantastic. It works fantastic. Uh, it's definitely a lot more um, responsive than my old iPad is. So you can kind of see even even it, it goes faster, but it's more fluid. Uh, so obviously to get the best uh, showing of this between the two, I actually reformatted or completely restored my iPad, my original iPad here, my third gen, to factory settings, reinstalled iOS 7 from the ground, from the actual computer, so it had a fresh install, just like the uh, the Mini does here. And so I wanted to obviously show maybe the differences in load time. So what I'm going to do is actually see if I can't focus in more and uh, we'll get a better load time. Okay, so obviously whenever we talk about the iPads, it's usually about spec differences. I'm going to just open some of the standard Apple apps that you're going to use regularly. So, start with iTunes uh, and we'll see the load time between the two. So this one's coming up in music because obviously that's where it started. I guess I was in movie mode before. So maybe we'll go to both to TV shows to be the same. So it's asking me if I want to use iTunes Radio, which I haven't set up yet or anything like that, so I'll just hit not now. Uh, let's go to audiobooks. So they're both on the same Wi-Fi. They're both fresh installs. You can see that there is a, a variance in how fast they are loading. Uh, movies should be faster than that because it was obviously just loaded. Same with music. If I go back to music, it's already been loaded on this guy, so it should definitely be faster, but... Uh, that said, let's cancel out of this guy and head over to the App Store. And I guess I was I already had that open, so uh, we'll go to Top Charts. I haven't uh, that open on either of them yet. So you can just see these little minute differences. It shouldn't be any difference in my in my Wi-Fi because they're both reading off the same Wi-Fi. Uh, it's definitely differences maybe in the antenna that's built in. Coupled with the actual processor, how fast it's able to process the information it's receiving. Um, we'll go to let's see if there's something that I haven't had open for a while. Oh, look at that, Clash Clans. Imagine that. Oh, I haven't had actually maps open on either of them. So let's go open maps and see what happens. United States is up. And there we are. If we use the GPS setting, let's click that guy on. Sure, I wanted to use my location. It's about not a whole lot of difference in the actual timing there. Uh, uh, so let's open up the camera app. And I have it set for the front facing camera. But you can actually see the differences just in the quality of video at a low light condition. Um, it's less grainy on the new iSight camera versus the older Camera, I don't know if you can kind of see how grainy it is right around my face right here. Um, I can get closer, I guess, my head into the actual picture. But it just, it you know, they definitely had improved about everything within the actual uh, iPad itself. But that, that was a quick kind of side-by-side -side comparison between the two. I guess one thing I was going to show you was a game specifically. See how fast a game loads. And of course this is a 
landscape game, but... And this isn't a fancy game, you know, there's nothing fancy about this specific game. But the fact is, is that it is, you know, something that you would use. So obviously that one's up and going, ready to roll. Still waiting for my other one to load. And there we are. And, it, you know, it, it's just, everything I've been doing on it feels faster. Uh, in even iOS 7, you know, it's definitely meant to run on this processor more than it was to meant run on this processor. And they did a fantastic job with the iPad mini. So kind of your next question is, you know, if you decide between the iPad mini and the iPad Air and you, li you like the iPad mini, um, what size, what color, w you know, which version do you actually go with? I mean, here I have both colors. Uh, I'll turn off the screen. Side by side. Um, with the screen off, it, it just looks like black over here and, of course, the nice white rim around it with the display on. You know, the borders, you know, the white, I don't know if it, it almost makes the screen almost look a little different size than the other one. Um, but I like, I, I don't know, I like both, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I wish that they would have made the back a darker black, but in my case, I always put it in a case anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, so I always tend to go to the black, however, my last iPod Touch, I actually went with a white. So I like both colors. I think they did a good job with both colors. Um, silver on the back versus the what they call the space gray, which I don't know why it's called space gray, to be honest with you. It blows my mind that they can't just call it silver or gr in gray, you know, but whatever. I'm not making thing arguments on that one. Uh, but, you know, for my kids, I decided to go with these for my kids. Uh, I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Uh, they use my iPad almost more than I do. Uh, so if you're, you know, you're buying something for your kids or you're buying something for somebody... Um, the iPad mini is great because it gives them the iPad. It's obviously about $100 less uh, for the iPad mini with Retina versus the iPad Air. Uh, so you can kind of make your justification whether or not it makes sense in that regards. Uh, but the mini obviously will f it fits in more specific situations. It'll be easier for them to hold on to in all reality with their smaller hands. But uh, I think the form factor is just better for them. Um, easier for us to travel with it, everything like that. Uh, the other thing is... The fact that between the iPad Mini and the iPad Mini with Retina, because I am so picky and the Mini with the Rith Retina is the only way that I would personally go, that's why I chose the Mini with Retina for them. Uh, could you get away with just the Mini for your, your child? Absolutely. I also was, this is a large, as large of an investment as this is, I wanted to have the processor power behind it. So I'm not looking to, to upgrade them in, in the near future. This is obviously something that's going to last them se for several years. Uh, and with the A7 processor, I think it definitely is. The only thing is, I got 16 gig modules, so they're great, but they have you know a limited how much they can actually put on them. Uh, so that would be up to you whether or not you want to get a lot larger one, uh, as well as I only got the Wi-Fi version. My kids are too young to have anything with cellular, so that's my belief at least. Uh, that's your own, you know, whether or not you, if it's for you or for a child or whoever. But they do offer it with, with cellular 3G built in or, or LTE built in. So uh, those are options. Um, I think they did a really good job. I really like, you know, just like the uh, the, uh, the iPhone 5 and out above, the chamfer around the edge looks really, it, it just looks like a high quality professional product. It feels like a high quality professional product, the aluminum backing and everything. Uh, the glass, the display, everything. I have, I mean, I've had my iPad third generation for over two, about two years or so, and I do not have a screen protector on mine. I just have a, a hard shell case in the back and a, a smart cover on the front. I got my kids just the smart cases, which gives a little more protection, I think, than my plastic cover uh, around the edges and stuff, um, but no screen protector because I do not have a single scratch in my iPad, and they use it all the time. So, uh, while you may have somebody that is going to treat their stuff more harshly, I decided not to go with screen protectors because I like the glass feel, but also I I want them to actually learn how to treat their electronics very well, and they've obviously learned for the last couple of years mine 
uh, which they treat like their own. So they're going to know whether or not, you know, they're going to know very well that they're going to be treating these very well. So with that said, this is, an, this is more review for the iPad than my children. But um, if you have a time to go out to a store, play around with it. Most stores, I think, still just have the regular iPad mini on display, so without the actual A7 processor. But play with the iPad Air because while the screen size is different, it's the same exact internal components. It's got the same stuff inside. That A7 processor is fast and is awesome. That's the reason I really want to upgrade is because the A7 is that much better than my A5. So, uh, A5X. Uh, but, with that said, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Uh, I know this was a little dirty, quick overview review. shows you a little bit of the differences between my my third generation and, and the new iPad uh, Mini with Retina. But um, I, I love the, the feel of it. I just love the size of it. So... Um, and of course, the lightning connector is significantly better than the old dock connector I have there. I love the reversibility of it. But, um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Subscribe above, comment below, and uh, if you have any other thoughts, let me know. Because um, as of right now, I'm highly considering an upgrade in the near future for my aging technology there. So. This has been the Tech Gooch with another video overview and review, I guess, of the iPad Mini Retina, or Mini with Retina, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.